Hello everybody, this is the Wall Report, and today we're looking for monstrous alligators in this creek in North Carolina. Let's look for some. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna feel around in the mud until uh, I think I found <laughs> Just kidding. Today, we aren't looking for alligators. Today, we're looking for another top predator that you can find in ponds and creeks in North Carolina during every season. Let's get right into this episode. All right, everyone. This, as you probably know, is a largemouth bass. But what you probably didn't know is that these guys are actually super advanced predators. Let's take a look. The bass family includes many different species. But the three most commonly known and widely distributed are the largemouth, spotted, and smallmouth bass. Largemouth bass can be distinguished from the other two species by looking at the jaw hinge, which ends well behind the rear arc of the eye. Additionally, the two back dorsal fins are connected rather than separated. Alright, now the first thing that you notice about largemouth bass is its extremely large mouth. Now, they use this mouth, obviously, to get food, but instead of biting, like many people think they do, when this mouth is closed like this, and it opens up, it sucks in water. And along with that water, it sucks in the food. That's how a largemouth bass eats. One of the coolest things about a largemouth bass is running laterally along its body right here, you have the lateral line. Now, just like its name suggests, the lateral line is the line of thousands and thousands of micropores that run down the bass's side. Now these micropores each have a nerve ending in them and the bass will use this to pick up vibrations in the water. That's how it finds food in muddy water. It does not use its sight as much as it uses that lateral line. Additionally inside a bass's head there's lots of hollow bones and these hollow bones are used for echolocation which is how bass probably communicate with each other. Another thing you'll notice about bass is that no two bass have the same exact pattern on their side. Each one is unique to that specific fish. So even on a small one like this, it's exactly like a small version of that big one. You've got that trademark mouth, and you've got its own unique design. So that's another cool feature of the large mouth bass. Let's get this beautiful fish back in the water. Thank you so much for watching that super quick creature profile, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more awesome wildlife content. This is The Wild Report, signing out.